Bernie Sanders a few days ago. The day, the day before the election, Bernie Sanders is... He's, he's doing a Zoom call with the quad. With the squad. Squad. The four ladies, yeah. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. And, Trump, you know. That has to, they look that at has him to, like a god, know, by the way. All yeah. of us are working very hard to make that happen. But we understand that electing Biden is not the end all. It is the beginning. Okay. And I think as the result of the work that all of you have done, Biden's proposals in this campaign are a lot stronger than they were in the primary, Alexandria uh, was on the uh, climate change task force, did a great job. Uh, and his proposals are stronger. Do they go as far as we would want? No, they don't. Okay. Biden, unlike Trump, does not conceive of himself as a dictator. That means you have your job in the House, I've got my job with others in the Senate. And we're not giving up on our agenda. For example, one area, you know, Biden wants to expand health care, that's good wants to lower prescription drug costs, that's great. Wants the double funding for community health centers, very important. But you know and I know that at the end of the day, the only way that we're gonna provide quality care to every man, woman, and child in an affordable way is through Medicare for All. And we ain't giving up on that struggle, Well, all right? Um, we're gonna introduce Medicare for All, believe me we are. And we have, because of all of your efforts, and the efforts of great They're doctors beaming. and nurses and others throughout the country, we got a majority of the people who support us. So thank you for that. Green New Deal, we ain't giving up on that. We know, my God, I mean, every day, I mean, Posit, okay. the horrors Posit, are going on. on the so, yeah, because he can go on and on and on. But you notice that that's a screen full of people in Congress, House of Representatives, senators. I mean, look, Biden can come in on day one and say, I am my own man. I'm going to be choosing my own cabinet. And there will be no members of the U.S. House of Congress uh, who are going to be members of my cabinet. Moving on to the next thing. And you, you know, think he's going to do that? I think it's, you know, Jamie Dimon wrote some very, uh, uh, Jamie Dimon alluded to that in some public comments that he made recently. I bring up Jamie Dimon because he runs the largest bank in the country. And if you're going to ha have a successful administration, you might want to have the biggest banks on board with you. They might be more important. So, again, if he crafts a cabinet that is more Reagan-esque and less left, then I, I think he will have a much easier task on his hands, plus the fact that Nancy Pelosi has lost seats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six of them. So the, 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 the Democratic stronghold in the House is not as strong as it was. So, uh, you know, there are three seats left. One seat went um, to the Democrats last night in, in the Senate. So uh, that, that was a bit of a surprise. So now you're down to three seats. It still looks like Republicans are going to, to retain control of the Senate. And that is a harder grasp than when you've got a House that can float either way because there's so many more moving people, moving parts. But she has lost some control of that House. It's, it's up to Joe Biden to choose a cabinet that can work with all of them.